Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliche. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing Allure's Beauty Box. So if you guys wanna hear a little bit about my thoughts on these products and a little bit about the subscription service, then keep watching. Okay, so Allure reached out to me and asked if they could send me their monthly beauty box and I was like, yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's a cute little purse. So the beauty box is $15 a month and it's kind of like, I guess more kind of like BoxyCharm. So these are full size items in here. Well, I guess not full size items. I guess these are sample sizes, but they look big. And there's actually like a lot of items in here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven items. All right, so here we have this Petal Spa Oil to Foam Cleanser. This is by Mem Memande, Mamand. Looks like. I've always wanted to try an oil-based cleanser. I wonder how those work. I'll have to do like an un get unready with me and use that. And then we have Monoco eyeshadow, and this is the Metallic Trio eyeshadow in Mykonos. That reminds me of. Have you guys been watching um, Lindsay Lohan's new show? What is it called? It's like Beach House. Lindsay Lohan's Beach House. I think it is. It's really good. <laughs> Well, really good for being bad, but this is what it looks like. And again, this is Mykonos. I really love this cranberry shade, it's beautiful. Then we have a tinted brow gel, and this is from The Brow Gal. I've actually tried this before and I didn't really like it, but I'll show you guys. I feel like I have really like, not stubborn brow hairs, but it just like, I don't know, it takes a lot in order to keep them in place. That's why I like using hairspray, but I'll try it out on camera for you guys. And we have Wander Beauty Mile High Club um, Mascara. Right, then we just have like a really cute brush, plated gold, an eyeliner, which is perfect. This is like a fierce and fine graphic pen. And I don't know how to pronounce that name, because I can't tell if that's a C, L, or a D. Am I an idiot? I don't know. What's this guy? I can always use a graphic pen. Ooh, and this is like a really, really thin guy. Then we have another, this is by that same brand from the oil cleanser, Memond, Memond? Is that it? I don't know. Um, Flower Lab Assess, Assess, oh my God. Flower Lab Essence Mask. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely have to film like a get in unready with me and I'll use like the oil base cleanser and then I'll do the mask. It might be fun. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Model Co eyeshadow in Mykonos. I guess I'll start by going in with my crease with that brown shade in here. And I'll use that eyeshadow brush. These are really pigmented. I just like put my brush in there and it like, like just pretty much destroyed it. All right, just go into my crease here. They say that you're not supposed to put shimmers in your crease, but I don't know. I just don't know why that's a rule. It's really pigmented and I love this color. This brush is very firm though. I don't know if I recommend this one. Like it's pretty stiff bristles. I mean, it's blending out though, so I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take that underneath my lash line as well. It is weird, cause it's like, you would expect this to not blend out well because it's a stiffer brush. I don't think I've ever had like a stiff brush like this. It's really interesting. And it doesn't have like a brand name on, wait, does it? Moda, R&L, Moda, M27. I do like it though, cause it allows you to, um, be really precise. I think I'm gonna take that on my outer corner as well. Ooh, look how pigmented that is, holy crap. All right, then I'm gonna go in with that cranberry shade in here and I'm gonna just take that on my fingertip just to get the most amount of pigment on there. Ooh, that is such a pretty color. I'm just gonna put this right on my eyelid. Ooh, this makes me want Thanksgiving food. I could literally eat Thanksgiving food like every single day. It's my favorite food of all time. 
Except for I don't really like cranberries though. I don't like cranberry sauce. Or maybe I do, I don't know. I've never tried it because it just like looks weird. Like you know how it comes out of the can and it's like still like can shaped. I don't know if I can handle that. I'm gonna grab another clean brush real quick and just make sure that I blend that out properly. Just around the edges there. Do the other side real quick. I really love this color. Like it's not like a groundbreaking cranberry color. There's like a lot of palettes that have this similar color in it, but I love that they have it in this trio because I feel like you could definitely travel with this because you could just use this shade as like a highlight shade. I don't know, it's just, I think it's perfect. I'm kind of feeling just doing it on the inner corner there and then having it fade into like the brown. I think it looks neat. Yeah, I'm just gonna darken up the outer corners a little bit more with that brown. All right, then I'm gonna grab that champagne-y pinkish kind of color. Yeah, it's neat. It has like a, it's like a peachy iridescent champagne. It's gonna pop that in the inner corner there. And I'm gonna take a small angled brush and then put it right under my brow here to make my arch look a little higher. Pop that brow bone. Right, now I'm gonna go in with that eyeliner real quick. Ooh, I love how precise this is. That was like really quick. Wow, that was like the easiest wing I've ever done in my life. All right, then I'm just gonna do the other side real quick. Wow, that was like literally the easiest eyeliner application ever. And look how like, it's, it's like, oh my God. I feel like I like struggle with winged eyeliner so often. It's just like literally ridiculous, but that just like, glided on. I always have like a problem with the wing and then like getting them right. And then just went like, boop. All right, now I'm going in with that mascara. So this was the Mile High Club um, Volume and Length Mascara by Wander Beauty. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Brow Gal. This was what I was telling you about before. I've used this before. This doesn't even look like my color though. I guess I'll try it anyway. Uh, but this is, what shade is this? It just says brown hair 02. So I think I would need like a dark brown. But the thing is, I don't know if you guys will like this. Um, so it's a tinted brow gel with um, micro fibers, with micro fibers in it. So it builds up your brow a little bit. The only problem that I have with these is that since it's pigmented, oh, it just spit everywhere. Since it's pigmented, it, if you don't get it like precise, it's like then you, like it's all messed up and it goes up top and then you're like taking your foundation off when you're trying to like take it off with a Q-tip and it's just, it can be a disaster. Although the brush is very small. So I guess it would just take practice in order to like get it correct. But also just the, the brow gel that's in these isn't super strong, so then I find that I'm coating it with a brow sealer anyway, which you guys know I just use a hairspray for that. But, I don't know, let me just try. So it definitely makes your brows look a little fuller. And the brush, like I said, it is very precise. I just hated on that for like 10 minutes and I like actually kind of like it now. I feel like the one that I used before had like a bigger brush than this. And I remember it just being like a globby mess and it was just like everywhere. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Let me try to find the one that I, I'm like thinking of. Maybe it's not even this one, I don't know, let me see. Okay, so this is the one that I had before. This is like a mess. This is the same exact one, it says brow Let me see. All right. It's literally the same exact thing, so. I don't know what I didn't like about, like, maybe I'm just not remembering correctly? Or maybe that was before, like, I, like, really locked down my brow routine and maybe I just, like, thought it was too much? I don't know. I don't know, but I like it now. <laughs> I think I'll probably just get this in a darker color. But yeah, I really liked that. But like I said, I 
This, I don't think will seal my brows. I don't think it'll keep them in place. I think I'll probably still have to wind up sealing them, but I'm just gonna leave them alone for now and then do my eyelashes and see if they move in the meantime. And I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably just straighten my hair real quick. It's still a little damp, so I don't know how much I'll be able to do, but um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I'm actually really blown away by the Allure Beauty Box. Literally, like, I think, I think I might cancel BoxyCharm and then just do this one. Literally, like, I liked, I just said literally like a hundred times, but I loved all of these products. Like, I haven't used the, um, the oil cleansing lotion stuff or the mask, but I mean, I'm like shocked. And the eyeshadows were great. Everything was great. Like, I really, the only thing is my eyebrows, um, as I suspected, it's not like really strong hold. I don't even know if you can see that from there, but like they just come like a little undone. But it's nice that they built them up to like a little thicker. Um, you just are going to need like a, a setting, uh, what's it called again? You're just gonna need like an eyebrow setter for those on top of that, which is fine. I feel like a lot of people use like a bunch of different brow products anyway, like all together. And I'll definitely be traveling with this eyeshadow palette. This is like perfect. And it's like the perfect size, perfect colors. And that, that eyeliner was perfect. Everything is just like, I don't know. I have no complaints about this at all. And this cute little bag, like, I wonder if it comes in different bags each month, kind of like how Ipsy does. Cause Ipsy comes in like a little, it's like a little pouch and it's different every time. And it seems like a little more classy than um, than the Ipsy ones. Like the Ipsy ones are fun, but I find that I can't like really use them again unless it's like a really, like it's a cool pattern that I like that's like kind of neutral that like, I don't know. I just found that a lot of them I was just wasting because I don't know, not my style most of the time, but you can't go wrong with like a sleek packaging. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about the Allure Beauty Box. Is it something that you would subscribe to, just like a BoxyCharm? And yeah, if there's any of these products in here that you liked, are you gonna be purchasing any of these? Definitely let me know, and I'll see you guys on the next one.